Good evening, administration, faculty, staff, proud parents, family, friends, and of course, graduates. It is such an honor to be here to represent the graduate programs at Hawaii Pacific University. As I was reflecting on this day, a story came to mind. My senior year of undergrad, I found myself competing in the Miss Hawaii Scholarship Program, really not knowing what I was getting myself into. So it wasn't a surprise. I didn't win. But as a slightly competitive person, I decided to go back my second year. I didn't win. But I was always told that we have to keep trying and that the third time's a charm. So I went back my third year. And guess what happened? I didn't win. <laughs> so some might say that I'm crazy, but I went back my fourth year, and I was finally, finally blessed to win the title of Miss Hawaii. So you can imagine how proud and accomplished I felt after all of those years of toil and sacrifice. So after my crowning moment, as I descended the stairs into the loving embrace of my family and friends who were offering me congratulations, my brother walked up to me, gave me a big hug, looked at me and smiled and said, get over yourself. <laughs> I know, Matthew. And while it seems like something a little brother would say, it took me, that gave me that moment to pause, to step back and reflect. And while it greatly pains me to say this, he was right. While I had won, I didn't do it alone. There were many, many people who had come alongside me to get me to that point. Just like today, while we are celebrating this accomplishment of graduation, it took many hard, long years of work and dedication, but none of us got here alone. I'd like you to take a moment to think of all the people that have gotten you to this point. Your parents who believed in you from the beginning, your spouse that offered to cook those meals when you had a late night project due, your aunt who edited your papers, your friends who encouraged your academic pursuits, your professors that answered some of your really difficult questions, and your mentors that kept you on the right path. It was not done alone. This concept of getting over yourself really tied into my time at Hawaii Pacific University. As we've heard, it's been one of the most internationally diverse universities in the United States. We've had the amazing opportunity to study alongside fellow students from here and around the world. We've all benefited from this multicultural perspective and learned that there are so many other ideas and approaches out there other than our own. It's graduation day. It's time to recognize that it is now your turn. Our accomplishments aren't just that piece of paper or that award. Use it to make a difference in the world around you. Throughout your academic career, you have been preparing for this moment. And I challenge the class of 2015 to take the knowledge we have gained and the lessons we have learned and use it to enrich the lives of others. As Martin Luther King Jr. said, life's most urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Serving others encompasses more than just doing your job or volunteering or writing a check to charitable organizations. Now don't get me wrong, those things are very important and needed. But do recognize that your daily activities can be embedded with service to others. This starts with an appreciation of the God-given dignity and worth of each and every individual, and how you incorporate this attitude through every hour of your day. Giving of oneself is a privilege. It is evidence of your faith and your values. And when you submit to something larger than yourself, you'll realize your true potential, finding real happiness and fulfillment through service to others. So graduating class of 2015, tonight is about celebrating you and your accomplishments. But tomorrow, get over yourself <laughs> and make a difference in the world around you. Congratulations.